This is a guide on replacing the touchscreen glass digitizer and an LCD screen on an Apple iPad Air. To begin, turn off the tablet by holding the power button at the top and confirming the shutdown on screen. The heat gun is recommended for this repair. Hold the heat gun 2 inches away and direct it around the perimeter of the device while avoiding the middle. It takes about a minute or two to warm up the edge to the desired temperature. Use your finger to gauge the level of heat. It should be fairly warm, but not burning. Once the perimeter is warmed up, focus the heat on the top left corner. Apply a suction cup as close to the corner as possible, and while gently pulling on it, use a plastic pick to get underneath the digitizer. Run the pick along the edge while holding onto the suction cup. Place a piece of plastic under the top left corner to prevent adhesive from catching. Continue running the pick under the left edge. Some discretionary heating may be required during disassembly. If the edge is not separating well, heat it up for a few seconds and try again. Pad the bottom left corner with a piece of plastic and move on to the bottom edge. Continual heating will ensure easy separation and will cause the least damage. Once the bottom edge is unglued up to the home button, come back to the top edge. Now that the three edges are unglued, using a heat gun with one hand and applying inner pressure with the other, begin opening the digitizer from the left side. Use a pick and a heat gun as needed to separate the bottom edge near the home button. You may need to use an X-Acto knife to cut some adhesive strands. Warm up the right side edge and open the digitizer fully. The digitizer cannot be removed yet, as it is still connected to the logic board. The LCD screen needs to come out in order to remove the digitizer. It is mounted with four Phillips screws, one in each corner. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove them. Lift the LCD up from the top edge and stand it up at a right angle. The LCD and the digitizer connectors are located under a metal shield that is secured with three Phillips screws. Remove the screws while holding the screen and the digitizer in place. The LCD connector is glued to the shield and you can set the screen aside together with the shield. Using a pick or a flat screwdriver, pick open one of the connectors. Remove black tape from the home button cable connector above. Open the connector tab opposite of where the cable slides in and disconnect the home button cable. Pick open the last connector and begin separating the digitizer. It is a good idea to cut some of the glue strands with an X-Acto knife to keep them in place. Make sure to not cut any of the flex cables. At this point, the new parts can be installed. Align the digitizer connectors with the logic board and plug in two silver cap connectors. Connectors will make a distinctive click when plugged in properly. Slide in the home button flex cable. Ensure that the cable is in all the way and that the white stripe is parallel with the connector. You may need to use a screwdriver to help insert the cable. Close the securing tab on the connector and replace the black tape. Stand the LCD up and align its connector. Gently plug in the connector and the metal shield. Replace three Phillips screws. Lay the screen in place. 
and wipe it with a clean paper towel. Replace four Phillips screws securing the LCD. Do a final wipe and make sure the inner side of the digitizer is also free of dust and fingerprints. Align the digitizer with the right edge and close it. Ensure that no adhesive is protruding outside. Once the digitizer is aligned and closed, warm it up with a heat gun. Using a paper towel, go around the perimeter of the device, firmly pressing on the edges of the digitizer. Warm the perimeter up one more time, and do a final wipe over the face of the digitizer. Turn the device on, check that the touch screen and the home button are functional. Turn the device off and you're done.